Mary Allen College uh, is a college that was established in 1886, and we have a museum now in Crockett, Texas, that houses the information concerning Mary Allen College. Mary Allen College was one of the oldest institutions that was established in Texas for women. Uh, it was for Negro women during that time, and it was first started through the Presbyterian Church that's here in Crockett, Texas. Uh, it was uh, Reverend Tinney who was instrumental in starting this, and the Allen family, uh, Mary Allen, that the school was named after her. And what the museum is doing is trying to keep the history alive about what has occurred and what has gone on. We are still working toward that, that entity of making Mary Allen College memorable and having people to be a part of that so the history can stay alive. We are inviting people to come to Crockett, Texas. Uh, the museum is located at 1503 South 4th Street and we are having a what you call a residence uh, artist that's going to be here to do artwork and bring in various programs as our activity director. So it's a lot of things that are happening for us and we're looking forward to what is going on knowing that uh, the history is rich and with the history being rich we know that it takes a community, it takes all the people together within our community to be able to keep this program going and keeping the people informed about the rich heritage and the historicity of Mary Allen College. But I'm going to have our mayor at this time to come and just say a word or two, whatever's on her heart. I know that she has great words to say. One, because I believe in what she believes in, and that's the one on my... Come on, mayor. We don't have a prepare as we just said, to God be the glory. <laughs> for the great things that he has done and that he's going to do. And you know, my, my part of it is that I've watched history, I've, I've always observed the building. My mother was, went there for a while and she was so dedicated, she always managed to save something to send to Mary. <coughs> and she would always uh, just share with us how important education was, especially during that time for as, as, uh, Superintendent just mentioned, the African American as a whole, and especially for women during that time. And, and you know, it's just great to, lest we forget where we came from. And as I read the history over and over, it's just so amazing. But the even more so amazing is that God uses who you get things done. It, it, it's transcending race, color, creed. He just speak people, lay it on their heart, and they get the job done. And I think if anything's more timely than at this point in time is to recognize that we need to get, let the outward appearance, but they, they, they could, they, David almost missed his calling because they couldn't, he didn't look like what he should have been. And so we got, we always have to remember whatever venture we go through, God looks at the heart, but man is still caught up on the outside. So don't worry about the outside when God deems it a, a, a mission. It's going to get accomplished because he does things well. So I'm just glad to be a part of it. I'm glad that it's in Crockett. I mean, Crockett is just being known. We did great things, and we're going to do even greater things. So mm -hmm. we're appreciative of all of the board and the president and all the board members and all of those because it takes time and it takes effort to do all above and beyond. So. For somebody that didn't have many words to say, thank you very much for inviting me. And I'm looking forward to the great things to come. personal passion to see us be successful here in this community. Uh, 27 years ago when I came to Crockett, one of the first places I looked for was Mary Allen College. And you say, well, why would you be looking for Mary Allen College? Well, 
it goes back to my youth. Being the son of a Baptist minister and pastor of the church in Orange, Texas, um, the black churches at that time supported Mary Allen College significantly. And I remember putting my nickels and dimes and quarters in the, in the offering basket to send funds to Mary Allen College as a young man. And so when I was offered the job to come to Crockett, Mary Ellen College, I need to see what that is. I never got to see it as a young person, so I went looking. Well, at that time, you know, it was under our ownership, and I crawled through the fence line, and I walked up, and I saw these eyes in the back. Well, it was cattle on the, on the well, thank God, I go on. We were able to reacquire the property back, and some of those have passed on now that will be part of that. But uh, it's always been a part of me to see Mary Allen be recognized as a significant part of the history of this community. And I'm just happy, happy that I, in my little way, whatever we can do to help support that, we want to do that and support every aspect of Rocket Texas as a well. whole. I appreciate you giving me a chance to speak on that. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We have also our superintendent here, uh, Superintendent yeah. Everett. We had an opportunity to meet with him and talk to him and talk about partnership. Now I'm gonna ask him, I know this is on the spot for you, but come on down and say something and just, just whatever's on your heart. Yeah, certainly on the spot. And I'm not quite as good as the mayor of just being able to get up and talk on the spot, but I'll, I'll do my best. But yeah, we had a, a lovely meeting the other day. And um, I, last year I got invited to the banquet um, for the college and knew about it, but learned I didn't really know anything about it. And just amazing, the history there. I was just telling the mayor and I told uh, Dr. Douglas the other day, um, I, I believe um, that this is not just history for Crockett, but this is something that needs to get out for the entire country. This, this was a big deal. Um, as the mayor alluded to, we were just talking and at that time in, in the country, educating women, period, was just not something that was done. And then to have a place that was not only educating women, but African American women at that time is just amazing to me to know that that was happening here. And, and um, that, that word needs to get out. So very much support these efforts here and um, you know, proud that it's here in, in our hometown of Crockett. So. Thank you. In addition, we have, uh, I believe, Mr. Kevin Johnson here. And uh, I'm going to have him just to say a word for you. Come on, come on over here. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Mr. Middleton is filming this for a TV production in Houston, Texas. All right. well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Kevin Johnson. I'm uh, just so happy to be JP candidate for Preaching One here in Houston County for this election coming up. And uh, I'd just like to thank Dr. Dudley <laughs> and everybody that's on board with restoring the Mary Allen College is a beautiful thing. Uh, history, if you don't know where you came from, how can you know where you're going? And so, I mean, Crockett is going somewhere, but it's up to us. I didn't say I, there's no I in team. There's no I in county, but there's I in unity. So we can together go somewhere with Crockett, Texas. And that's what I am behind 110% being together. Thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you all. I appreciate you coming out today. I'd like to just give you a succinct like overview of some of the other things that are in the works. One, I'd like to just thank the board of directors. You guys, you're just so awesome. And the advisory board for all the efforts and the work. And let's give, I, I, I cannot Reverend David Ballou, he has worked this whole month to get this facility up and running since we have been closed for the past two and a half years. And now we are open and we are ready to go and, and with Alexandra Hubbard here, we'll be able to have tours and we'll be able to have people that we we'll set some hours so people can come and visit and look at the history that's in this room and, and gain some insight. And it's an exciting time and we do appreciate that. Um, with the board of directors and the advisory board, appreciate you so much. 
Also with the advisory board, we have a, a Reverend Pastor Moat, who was the person that recommended us getting our flags. We recognize the flags right now that's inside by U.S. Congressman uh, Brett Brady that uh, flew that flag over the, uh, the capital of, of the United States. And uh, he gave us that flag on Juneteenth. Likewise, and a certificate to indicate that, we had Trent Ashby, uh, our representative for Texas, gave us a flag as well. And all those flags were flown on the College Hill where the old ruins are. And people came and took a picture there and was able to just you know, celebrate that time because Juneteenth was being a national holiday for the first time this year. And so uh, our Kevin Brady congressman and also Representative Trent Ashby, they were the ones that just contributed to this and we really appreciate what they did. And those uh, flags are now in our window, but Pastor Mo said we want to have flags flying all the time up there and put a light on it so people can know that we are taking steps to do something on the College Hill as well. And uh, so he has, uh, we have flags up now, is that Pastor Mo? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we appreciate him and getting that, and, and one of the reasons why you have to have a flag up that has a lighting always on it. And uh, so he is making sure that there will be a light up there so the flags can be flown all the time. And it was another thing to be open on this day as well, since we have an open house here, that there's that opening there on the College Hill. With the College Hill, there's some other things that are in the works, and we want you to know about that too as well. We have an architect uh, firm that's going to be coming in, and I would like some of you to come and join us. And when they, they want to come and talk to us here in Crockett about their ideas and suggestions of what they are going to do for that building, for that ruined building. And they are dedicating their time and effort in that. I know from the past, and, and Mr. Shepard, you can attest, we spent a lot of money, over $10,000, $13,000 for architects to get it done. Am I correct? That's right. So we are working on that building now, even if we have to make it like a ruin and have it like a place where people can come and be like a garden or whatever it may be. But they have recommended that they believe they can do two floors and they will come and talk with us and our board and the community as a whole. We're going to bring in people uh, to give ideas and suggestions and see what they have to say and see what the community want to see up there as a whole. It takes all of us coming together. So with that particular building, that's one of the things that we're looking forward to. Another thing we are trying to do up there is put a fence around there. Uh, that's so important right now. I don't know if y'all go online and if y'all go on YouTubes and different things, you will see where people have been sneaking into the buildings and taking pictures. And they are not supposed to be there. Uh, that's, that's dangerous. And so we are trying now to put a fence around the, the facility, but that's costly to go around that area. Uh, so if you want to donate to that cause, uh, have friends to donate to that cause, please just tell them to help us out. Because it's going to take thousands of dollars to do that, just to put that estate fencing around it. And we would like to have it where it says Mary Allen College, 1886, with that in iron across at the gate. So we have great ideas and different things that we're looking toward. Um, the other thing that I'd like to just mention is with this we have in each of these rooms, we're going to have films that are going on so you can watch and see some of the history that's going on. Uh, we've had people to participate and help with this whole program and I'd like to acknowledge them uh, of what they have done. Can't go without that. And that's economic development. I mentioned that before. The First Presbyterian Church, Life Point Church, uh, Walmart, Crockett Area Chamber of Commerce, KIBY, Houston County Curry, The Messenger, uh, Main Board of Directors, Main Advisory Board, and many volunteers. And we appreciate all what they have done to make this a success. And we are so glad that this open house is open, because it's open for you. Thank you very much. And at this time, we're going to, just, if you want to get something to eat, just grab a plate or whatever. And also, if you'd like to listen to some of the history, we have the, the TV there that was, again, that was donated by Walmart to us. So uh, 
We are just uh, excited about a lot of things that's going on. And thank you all for coming. We really appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs>
and this is from Charlie Becker, and um, he's got Becker Studio in uh, Bluffton. So he's an artist out of Bluffton. Yeah, I think that they And he gave this to you? He gave this to me, and I but I wanted to. I asked him if I could give it to you when I got it. So, uh, but y'all could close. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so, so much. Because he gave it to me, I think the day was on here. In, um, January of 2021. Okay, you know, okay. Right, right, right. Anyway. Will we open now? And we can I know. Well, good. Well, you know, it, it is the building in this kind of the present situation, you know. So, yes. um, I wish it were the building in its full glory, you know. Yes, yes. But at the same time, I think it preserves it the way it is now, you know. So, Thank you so much, Jess Clark. So, Appreciate that. Yeah, I hope y'all have a place for it. Oh, uh, we <laughs> will have a place for it. Believe me, this is a yes. museum. Yes. Find a place for paintings. Yes. Judge Clark has donated this painting to us for the museum. And it came from Charlie Becker. It was a gift from the artist to me. His daughter was the president. Oh, oh that's hey. awesome. They will be at the beginning for that. That's right. But, uh, but I thought it belonged here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yes, so I started trying to find a place at the courthouse, but I couldn't quite find a wall to put it off. So I thought it belonged here. It belongs right there. You, you did the right thing, bringing it right here. You didn't get me. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Like it's a, it's a little wall flower. Yeah. 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 Yeah.